the latter part of 2020 and we have an SDI. What does it really mean to go fast? We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen, and this is the Subaru WRX STI with a Varus wide body kit. And don't you dare call this an Impreza. Ask any car guy what their top 5 cars would be in their dream garages and most of the time there's going to be an STI right there in the mix. But deep inside the STI lore lies these amazing cacophony of parts that just transforms what already is a capable beast into something entirely more terrifying. This car started life as a regular WRX STI. and We all know and love that car. It's Fuji Heavy Industries once renowned Evo fighter. Well, now it stands king of the hill now that the uh, Lancer Evolution was discontinued some odd years ago. The STI is an all-wheel drive, four-door fun machine powered by a 2.5 liter turbocharged engine. It comes in a manual, so pretenders and the faint of heart need not apply. On all accounts, the vanilla STI makes for some good fun all around and garners enough street cred for any car club who wants to have the driver for their own group. But at what point can modifications warrant a car to maintain its identity? Haters may look at this car and dismiss it to be another riser with those huge front and rear fenders and that massive wing as well as carbon fiber side skirts that are a country mile wide. But what they don't know can really bring them back home, you know, hat in hand with tails in between the legs. This particular kit is manufactured by famed JDM body workshop Varus. Varys has been known since the 70s for manufacturing some of the most cutting edge and insane body kits for Japanese car companies and Japanese racing series such as the Super Taikyu and one and the Super Japan GT series. Varys creates body kits for different types of car platforms, specializing in wide body kits to improve a car's overall look and performance. Every part, curve, and kit, including the massive GT wing in the rear, was carefully crafted more for function than form. The fact that it makes the car more menacing and aggressive is a mere byproduct of the science and planning that created this beast. Up front, you've got the two piece Varus Arising 2 front bumper and carbon fiber front diffuser and lip system that channels the air around those circuit version double canards, which also are made of carbon fiber. The special cooling hood also has to work over time to provide the engine with as much air as it can get to power and cool it down. Uh, more on this later. At the back, it has a various rear bumper and diffuser, complete with carbon fiber heat shields necessary for all the blow off exhaust gases that this monster can produce. Completing the wide bodywork are the 60mm front and rear fenders that effectively give the SDI a wide imposing stance. The side skirts top it all off with a huge carbon fiber underboards and side air panels. The most glaring mod to the exterior has got to be that 1600mm carbon fiber Varus GD wing. This isn't your run of the mill bolt on wing guys, this is a spec correct wing that comes with the entire Varus kit that acts like the cherry on top of a very rich, very fudgy ice cream sundae. On the track it also sheds literally a ton of weight off of the car. Now, Varus isn't also just about the bling bling, all their designs are made specifically for function besides form. Performance is the company's game and it has been since its inception in the 70s. Now my favorite modifications on the car are the suspension parts. It's got an advanced K-Sport air suspension system that allows the driver to have his cake and eat it too. You know, you can live the slammed life when static and have impeccable driving dynamics when on the move. The system can be adjusted on the fly to match the driver's needs. Keeping the STI planted are these insane 18x10 Workmeister XSA05C wheels. Now these are forged and custom made from Japan so you can't get any more JDM than that. In the local car community, you wouldn't be faulted for spending your modification budgets on just the exterior. You know, dab a fresh coat of paint here, slap some red wheels there, and lower the car at just the right amount, and you can probably call it a day. That's certainly not the case for this carefully crafted kaiju. 
under the hood lies power that gives this beast its name. You see, the owner's inspiration for the build, as you might have guessed by now, is the biomechanical monster Evangelion Unit 01. You know, from the anime Neon Genesis Evangelion. If you haven't seen the anime yet, it's on Netflix right now, but be ready to be totally wrecked by its apocalyptic, psychological, and you know, spiritual undertones. The best part of the show is when Ava Unit 01 goes berserk and goes apeshit on the enemy's kaijus. From being a traditional piloted robot, it becomes an unfettered berserking kaiju itself, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. Just as this STI. There are others like it, but it stands on its own. The exhaust burbles and pops and even shoots flames whenever it feels like it. In its vanilla form, the 2.5 liter EJ25 boxer engine makes 280 horsepower because of the gentleman's agreement among Japanese car makers. Now if you check under the hood, it seems like this gentleman has thrown the gauntlet down and forgotten about all those agreements. Modifications under the hood include manly forged pistons, upgraded AMS intake manifolds, as well as repositioning the intercooler from the top to the front, as well as Tame headers and GFB blow-off valves. It also has custom charge pipes with NVIDIA downpipes and Q300 catback exhaust systems, care of MEK Automotive, and tuned by Speedworks. You can find both on Facebook if you ever want to go legit on your performance mods. All in all, the combination of all these performance upgrades give the STI 420 macho and 450 twerks under the hood. Hardcore enthusiasts might scoff at that number, pining over the fact that many others have broken the 500 horsepower mark. But for a guy who has three times less horses, damn, the, this thing is still a beast. He can have all the horses he wants, but the owner chooses to keep his SDI in one piece. Now the inside of this STI is still quite tame, apart from the Recaro S207 seats which were sourced from a different SDI model and DAMD steering wheel. It also has OLED displays all around the dash. Now, the STI comes with a manual transmission, and only a manual transmission. Uh, that's a tall order considering that this can get and get fast, so a weighted short shifter from Cartboy was installed. A safety is a number one priority, so inside you would then see a custom 6-point roll cage painted in neon green. Now this mirrors the AVA Unit 01's color blocking and provides an interesting and stark contrast with the midnight purple finish on the outside. It also has gritty 6-pot big brakes in the front and a 4-pot in the rear. The owner BJ admitted to me that he always wanted the Lancer Evolution. The thing is, Mitsubishi stopped manufacturing new models of the Evo years ago, giving Subaru the crown in a long and bitter rivalry. He then went on to the next best thing and ultimately regretted nothing. He chooses not to daily this car. This is a project car after all. A loving concept that proves that if a car is given your utmost attention to detail, even the most bruising monsters can love you back. The beauty of works of art are not judged by the opinion of others, but of the burning passion one has placed in crafting them. And the cult of Subaru is strong. The beauty of the members of this church is their burning love for their cars. Rarely will you see a Subaru, much less an SDI, treated as a regular car. All this car really has to say is... Thanks for watching another episode of Monotelic. You guys are awesome. If you love our videos, please leave us a like and tell us what you think. Or if you have any suggestions for future content by leaving us a comment down below. We strive to make only the best content for you car fans out there. Also, if you want to have your car reviewed, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and send us a message. See you guys next week. Cheers.